Well, this program is in its sixth year. It was started in 2005, and it is really to recognize those employers in the great state of Maine who consistently foster an outstanding workplace environment for their employees. So it's all based on the cultural components of an employer, what they do to make it a great place to work. And then there's um, a whole application process that is underway. In fact, the deadline is coming up this spring, May 27th. And employers would apply uh, through an application process either in paper or online. And then there's a comprehensive survey that goes out to their employees uh, to, to survey their employees to see if they are truly a best place to work environment and employer in the state of Maine. So as we know, living in the great uh, state of Maine as well as working in the great state of Maine is all based on the people and the businesses. So this puts those two components together in this program. Much like uh, categories for the Grammy Awards or for the Oscars, <laughs> are there different categories to be one of the best places to work in Maine, like uh, small business, X number of employees, then bigger, then bigger? Best dressed. Uh, yeah, best dressed. Well, there are two categories. It's called the large category or the small medium. The large is based on 250 like, or like more. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the size is the coffee that you buy at the drive through or McDonald's, you can supersize it by being a large employer. Uh, but Or the small, medium employer is 15 to 249 employees. So there is a minimum requirement of 15 employees who work in the state of Maine for the employer. Right. And, and what I love about this program is that it's the employees who are deciding whether their their workplace is the best place to work. So as an employer, not only do you have an opportunity to win a valuable prize and get some great recognition and publicity for your company, but you also really get to hear from your employees what you're doing well and where you could do better. That's right. There's a two-part assessment process. And 75% of your overall rating is based on what your employees say about you as an employer. So there's uh, a 76 questionnaire that goes out to the employees, and it is surveying those employees on employee engagement how engaged they are in their jobs, and satisfaction in their workplace. Hang the on a second. Hang on, hang on. Newman, Instant Radio Theater. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm the boss, and you're, uh, and you're second in command, all right? Yep. Meep. Newman, get in here. <laughs> Newman, I found this survey, and I want, this, I want our people to take it, and I want them to say really great things because it will help our bottom line. You go distribute this survey and make sure, you make sure that our employees, George and Amber, fill it out and make us look glowing. Got it, Newman? Yeah. Yeah. I'll get right on that. <laughs> how do you know After that my coffee break. How do you know that doesn't happen, Christine? Because the employees fill out those surveys. And... Um, it goes to a neutral company. It's the best places to work companies, best companies group, I should say, <laughs> that would score these. So it is 100% confidential, and employees cannot be forced into what to say or how to answer those questions. See, that's, that's what's great about this. Rather than you, boss man, <laughs> telling me to fill out this survey, and I'm going to... You're gonna, fired. <laughs> Get out! Don't even clean out your desk. George, you're taking her job. Hey, if she goes, I go with her. I'm going to human resources Amber, right now. you're up. You're in, Amber. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, Rick, Rick brings up, you do bring up a valid point in all of your theatrics that uh, by having kind of an he, out... He's not going to get the Academy Award. I, just, I don't like his dress. I just, I just want to be a presenter and get the swag. No. That's what I was thinking. I don't like his, his dress is not appropriate. But by having an outside entity, if you will... I actually, arrived at the ceremony in an egg. Come on. <laughs> Who's in in here? You are an egg. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk... Let's just move on to the swag. What do the winners get, Christine? Why, why is it a great, great thing to be honored as one of the best places to work in Maine. Is there some good swag that goes along there with this? There is some good swag. Other, is... th other than a honking banner. <laughs> there is a banner. Nothing wrong there with a honking a banner. <laughs> for, for marketing purposes that you can use to brand yourself as the best places to work in Maine company. And then there's advertising. There, the Maine Biz, you know, is a statewide publication. Yeah. They put out an incredible report and a story on each one of the winners in this publication. And that goes out statewide. Can we talk about some of the, uh, the the previous winners? Can yeah, you name sure. and 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 their reaction to being part of this program? Why it was good for them to participate? Sure. Last year, the uh, three large companies that won again. This is with 250 more employees working in the state of Maine. The number one company was Unum, based in Portland. 
the number two company was up your way, Bangor Savings Bank out of Bangor. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Yes, you're right. <laughs> and then the number three company was New Balance Athletic Shoes in Skowhegan. George, wears them? I've got them on my feet right now. <laughs> got them on today. That's great. Well, as you can see, there's a variety of industries from insurance to banking to manufacturing, um, even that were selected in that category. Those were the big guys. Do you know the little guys? The little guys, the small to medium, again, this is 15 to 249. The number one small to medium best places to our company was Kennebec Savings Bank in Augusta. Ah. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm reading a quote from them on your press release. Um, at Kennebec Savings Bank, they say employee retention is everything because our employees are everything. We feel strongly that if we treat them well, not only will they treat us well, they will treat our customers and each other well. Participating in the best places to work in Maine has been a great pulse check on that point. The valuable information in the reports help us, helps us to affirm that we are doing right to keep our employees happy and where we have opportunities for growth. And that's a, a quote from Kennebec Savings Bank, one of your, your winners in the small category. Who else, who else won in that category? Uh, the number two was Edward Jones in Brunswick. Cool. And then the number three was uh, Garand out of Portland, a marketing firm. Uh, and there were over uh, 40 companies that were listed as best places to work, and they ranked the top three. Now, this year the program is changing just a little in which the, all the companies that apply and make the best places to work certification will be ranked in order of um, from one, two, three, all the way through to the if there's 50 companies that apply and win uh, through number 50. So Ooh, that would be interesting. Whoa, 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 elephant in the room. <laughs> isn't that, is, boy, isn't that kind of dangerous? Because if, if, you know, if we enter the contest and we come in 50th, um, that's that's not much for bragging rights. But it's not everyone that applies is a winner. So you have to, again, meet the requirements to be a winner. And then with this feedback report that you receive from the best companies group, you receive that feedback that you can make improvements. So if you were number 50 in 2011, you may move up to, say, number 35, and you'll see your improvements over the course of the year. Okay, because I saw a danger. If, 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 if it's like Jill's lingerie and small engine repair, and we came in 50th, you know, your motto becomes, there are 49 places more fun to work than us. That, that's, that's a tough sell, but I guess if it's all about the learning. It is about the learning <clears throat> and making continuous improvements to your work environment. By the what way, there is no point. Jill's lingerie and small uh, engine repair in case you were curious. Yeah, I figured you were running the tab What are you there, looking at? Probably. I'm just following your example. Example. Because I learned it from you. I'm being quiet and I'm letting... I'm Christine, just, Christine, Christine. <laughs> what are you going to do with these two? I, you know, you know, hopeless. I'm just, I'm just watching Deb. Again, we're speaking, and I just keep going, this is what I do, with Christine Avery, who is the director of the Sher SHRM. 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 <laughs> She's a termite. SHRM, Main State Council, <laughs> which is the Society for Human Resources Management, and we're talking about the best places to work in Maine program. This is a great program, so let's, let's kind of rinse and repeat. Um, what's the timeline on this? How do companies get started? What's the first step? First step is to go to online, www.bestplacestoworkme.com, and you can learn all about the program as well as start the application process. The timeline is the registration deadline is May 27, 2011. So I would encourage employers to uh, check out this website, read through the information. There is so much uh, information that is there as a resource for employers who are exploring the possibility of applying for this best places to work mm. we recognition. Know, we know there's a there there is a a small fee to take part, isn't there? There is a small fee, and that covers the administrative expenses for the survey. Uh, and depending on the size of the company and whether you do an online survey or a paper survey, the fees vary. Um, but it ranges from five hundred and ninety five dollars uh, for a small company, fifteen to twenty four employees, uh, to a very large company of twenty five hundred or more employers employees, I should say, and that's $880. So for less than $1,000, the information that the employer would receive back is invaluable. You can't put a price tag on that. All right. Uh, Christine Avery, the director of SHRM, the Society for Human Resources Management uh, and the Maine State Council. Uh, thanks for being part of our show this morning. Which are the best? What's the website again where someone goes? W dot Best places to work, M-E dot com. All right, Christine, thank you for joining thank us this you. morning. Yeah, thank nice you. Thank you talk for to inviting you. me. Thank you for putting up with us. <laughs> You're most welcome. Yeah, Have a great day. Wow. Yeah, you do the short straw today. <laughs> wow, thanks, Christine.